it's really starting to itch now. Um, yeah, so this has been six, part two, um, of my bins that I'm going through that hat clothing in. I have seven bins of clothing that I have not gone through or seen, um, since being in this new place. I've been here almost three months and I'm already going to be moving again, so I am quickly going through all of my bins and clothes um, to determine what I'll be decluttering, packing back away, and kind of getting an idea of a capsule wardrobe because the new place that I'll be moving into, I definitely want a capsule wardrobe already set and the last two, three months living here without that has been a bit of a mess. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. The first item is this dress. It's got like a corset kind of situation in the middle um, with ties with like these kind of metal, metal pieces. Uh, the top portion of it is like almost like a jersey material with some detailing here. Um, it's quite stretchy and I like it because then it, it's easier to fit in um, multiple different sizing and then there's kind of ruching um, halfway through where the chest is and then it goes all around the back. And then this bottom half is this uh, mixture of blue and brown and kind of like a reddish brown and beige material and then at the bottom it's ruffled again with a little bit of a peak with the turquoise um there is two or three layers so it is thicker um thicker at the bottom and it does come out a bit um but yeah what i really like about that is that it fits me in different sizing. The only thing, because there's not a lot of give at the bottom, it hikes up and the curvier I am, the shorter it is. And typically when it's that point, um, I usually don't wear it and within a year or two again, it'll, it'll fit my body. So with this, I am going to put it aside to try on and see where it is and it fits. Um, I do like it. I've I got it at uh, Suzanne's, one of my favorite Canadian stores, Western Canadian stores. I would say probably about seven, eight years ago. I've worn it about thirty times or so. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a good piece, and I'll definitely be keeping it. Uh, the next one here, <laughs> this one is one of those like classic ones where it'll always be in my capsule during spring and summer, and like. As much as I like other ones, this is just my go-to. I feel really good in it. It's very casual. It fits multiple purposes, multiple sizing. Um, it flatters me. I love the pattern. But it's this dress. Um, and it's just got different designs here. It's black and white throughout. And then there's some ruching here. And then it is quite long. Um, and then it has kind of an asymmetrical, shorter in the front, longer in the back, and I love it, I love it, like, this with, um, red lipstick, pink lipstick, orange lipstick, bright colored lipstick, it just looks so good with me, my body, I just feel me and very comfortable in it, so, um, as much as I'd like to kind of give other dresses a chance, this will definitely be in my capsule wardrobe. It's a favorite. I've worn it at least 200 times, if not 300, in about the six, seven years I've had it. Um, and this is, again, from Suzanne's. Love the store. Um, and honestly, a lot of the dresses I paid as cheap as 15, upwards to about 100 when it's regular, but <coughs> I'm not sure. I probably paid between the 20 to $50 mark for that one, but um, it's definitely, it's definitely held its value to me. Um, the next top here, <laughs> I did a Harry Potter, 
pub crawl about oh three maybe four years ago and um you could do like they pick the pick which um which house you are like with the, oh i'm i'm like I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. It's been a really good but long day and I've got a very busy next couple weeks with moving again. So, um, but anyways, yeah, I, I got this. Oh, I'm just looking. Um, I got this at a pub crawl and it's so much fun. We did like three or four different bars. Um, one place, like we, we drank, ate, and there was like different like prizes and, and goals to do. And then we went bowling after that. And then we went dancing. And it was just a good like nerdy time. There was like questionnaires that you could get different things for. And uh, the sorting hat, that's what it was. Um, I didn't know which, which house I wanted to be in. So they put me in Gryffindor. And I'm not mad at it. Um, so this is... This is the, the, the top. Um, so with this, it was actually a t-shirt. And um, I saw some girls um, at the second part, second bar bowling, where they cut this up. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm really into it. So uh, I got a girl to do this side. And then um, I misunderstood for this side. So the back and the front has been tied since then um I mean I don't smell anything and um I've probably washed it there has been a few times where I've, I've had to re-knot it um and sometimes it's just like showing casual boob day it's fine I always wear a bra with this one so I'm not really worried about it but um yeah it's just the Gryffindor one and a fun fact too is like I've worn this lots out. I love wearing it with like a jean skirt jeans. Um, I've got an acid jean skirt that I love with this. Um, and um, yeah, funny story. I, I actually every time I travel, I only bring like a kid's backpack worth of clothing. That's it. It doesn't matter if it's for a weekend or if it's up to ten days of travel and. Um, so, you know, 15 items, perhaps. Um, and this was one of them that I brought to Scotland, because I was like, that's, that's where a lot of Harry Potter stuff was written. Originally it was like London or London Train that the first chapter of the book was written, but everything else has been in Edinburgh, um, and that's where J.K. Rowling resides, and I am a Potterhead, and it sucks, because everything with J.K. Rowling and a lot of controversy with that, it's, it's, I don't know, it, it's just sad, um, that, like, a public figure that you, like, grew up and admired, and you, like, grew up with, like, the world building, Harry Potter, really connected with the characters and the movies and the books, um, but then, you know, finding some less than favorable or agreeable to me um, opinions and beliefs and just it's it's not it's not what I stand for when it comes to non-binary they them transgender um, queer folks like within that whole umbrella um, it just makes me sad more than mad and I know um, there's a huge cancel culture about anything to do with Harry Potter or anything to do with JK Rowling and like the reality is you know I didn't directly buy this from her um, it was provided through this this party thing before I was aware of anything going on um, and anything Harry Potter related that I own or I've purchased has has been before everything but it comes to a point to me personally where I try to separate the art from the artist um, I think we're all humans and I'm not saying that her belief system 
or what she's doing is correct, and I don't think that we should be contributing money towards someone or an individual you don't believe in. Like, I, I think money and your dollar counts for whatever you want to vote it for. Um, I just remember growing up and hearing she was like the first billionaire to not be a billionaire because she contributed so much back um, and donated so much back, which is something unheard of, as well as like when I was in Scotland before everything that I knew, um, I did like a Harry Potter tour and hearing how like she was like on welfare or like poverty or like really like low income and kind of rose up to where she is now I think it is such a like you kind of just stand back and you're like whoa um I just remember when I was younger like it was one of the first English books that I I read and understood and really enjoyed and just like was zapped right into that world and like to give that up because of an individual that I don't believe it's difficult it's really difficult to do that so um, I still wear it I still love it it doesn't mean that I don't support um, that community and I've got a lot of loved ones a lot of friends within that community that um, would probably tear a new asshole if I if I share this with them and you know what I have every right to kind of say I still like Harry Potter and that doesn't mean I don't I don't want to support JK Rowling but it's it's difficult it's difficult to be very conscious about everything in the world on like an individual level on a larger level within your own community sometimes because there are levels of darkness and levels of negativity that is complex um, we all have different opinions different things different past different futures where something could be brought up and it being you know not great for your reputation but there is a difference between looking in the past and being like this is a slip up this is something and someone progressing towards that or away from that and someone that's really honing into that ideology and progressing more into that into kind of the hate territory so yeah I mean I feel conflicted wearing it and but I still love it I still love Harry Potter um, when I wear this, it reminds me of Scotland, it reminds me of that pub night, it reminds me, it makes me feel kind of punk and badass, to be honest, and, um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to super justify this shirt, but I guess it went there, so I'm going to go with it, and I'll continue on. Um, the next one here is a dress, I got it. Um, at a festival called Africa Day, um, which is just this really awesome, um, awesome music festival where I am, where they play a lot of African music, a lot of dancing. Um, I used to volunteer at different festivals for two, three years, so um, yeah, I, I think I got two or three dresses at the time, and this was one that caught my eye. It, I believe it's linen and it's really nice. Um, so it's got this kind of embroidery. Um, looking at it, it kind of gives me like marble. Um, so not all of this is embroidered. Some of this is already patterned, but like there is some embroidery a little bit here. And then there is some more at the bottom here. It's flowy. It's it's quite short, regardless of weight, um, but it's quite roomy. Uh, to be honest, I feel like it would be a bit too short for my liking this year, so I am going to be packing this away. Um, I won't even be trying it on. I just know my body. I know this dress. 
it's nice, but it, it's just not going to be for me right now. Um, the next one, ooh, this one's another, another one that I wear quite a bit. Um, and the other dress I got probably about five years ago or so, five or six years ago. Uh, this one is another classic one that I typically always have. I like it because it's very long, um, and then it, it's got a large hole in the back, so just spaghetti strap, you know, kind of a scoop neck, a little bit of a frill with some elastic band here, which is great for fluctuating weight. Um, and then this big, huge cutout in the back, which I like. And then it, it really, it's good because it hits the ankle. And regardless of shape, it might be a couple inches above the ankle if I'm quite curvaceous. Otherwise, the, everything else fits. And I love it for it. So um, I got this at Walmart literally, I don't know, 10, 11 years ago. I've worn this a lot. I've worn this at work with like you know, cover up to kind of cover the back or shoulders, depending on the workplace uh, or office. It's kind of nice to have that coverage. Otherwise, yeah, I've worn it out during the summer, doing errands, like around the house. It's really like a jersey kind of material. Um, and I'm really surprised that like, you can really get some decent clothing from Walmart. Like I know some of it can be definitely fast fashion, but some of it like, if it's lasting four, five, ten years, like, it's good. Um, and I honestly, I, I remember paying five, maybe seven dollars for that, like, almost ten years ago. And I've worn it, I've worn it, I would probably say about a hundred times, which for a dress is quite a bit. So, yeah. Um, and then the last item here is a polka dot dress. Um, it's got like a flare collar v-neck with, um, I was going to say three buttons, but it's actually four here. And then it's got a cinch waist here, and it's kind of flary with black. I love this. I love it, love it, love it. I, I got this probably about six, seven years ago. Someone gifted it to me, um, an old friend that I'm not in contact with. Um, but yeah, she was a sweetheart. She gave this to me and, um, she gave this to me as like an interview dress at the time. I was, um, I was working either very part time or I was in between jobs and, um, this kind of gave me life of like, you know, when and someone does a kind gesture for you, um, similar to, I think about 12, 13 years ago, someone gave me like a whole outfit. Um, it gives you a bit of confidence of having new clothing, having an interview outfit or something to look good in. And um, I, I, I think I might have worn it to, um, not to an inter interview, but when I worked at an office. But overall, honestly, I wore this for dates or like I, I went to a birthday party and I've got some bad memories associated with that, but I wore that at a birthday party about three years ago, and I've worn it on a date with someone I used to work with. Um, I've worn this out and about. Um, when I say out and about, I mean like um, cocktail kind of hour, happy hour with a girlfriend, like margaritas on a patio kind of thing. Um, so it's definitely more of a special occasion for me. I wouldn't necessarily wear this uh, to work very frequently or for an interview, but I, I do really enjoy this as um, a date, a date night. Typically what I'll do is I'll either have this one or the heart-shaped one. I do, I like stripes, I like polka dots, I like colors. Um, so usually it's either this polka dot one or the heart one, and it's usually really dependent on what fits me. So yeah, that has been six part two. I've got one more bin to go through and um, I'll wrap it up for the evening. Uh, I've got someone helping me, assisting me, doing a couple loads tomorrow um, for bins. So that's why I'm banging out a whole bunch. Um, you'll definitely be seeing this in the future. I'll probably have already settled into a new place with 
hopefully it's a nice place, hopefully it's a chill place. Um, it'll definitely be a cheaper place, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to look forward to this transition. Um, it was a little bit unexpected. I honestly was hoping to be staying here for at least another three months, but c'est la vie, it's not meant to be here. And honestly, I feel like it's, it's really showing me that one, I've got too much stuff still. This place is quite small. The landlord sucks. Like, I didn't have a working stove for over a month, and there's still electrical issues, like, behind the stove that needs to be attended. And, yeah, I mean, there's other things I don't want to go deep into, but, yeah, this is just not, not it for me, not it long term, and... It, it just feels like a place to rest my head for a while and carry on with the journey, so I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of moving. It's, it's one of those things that the less you have, the easier it is to move, and I'm hoping to get to a point where that'll be the case for me. So that's a wrap. I'll, I'm going to take a bit of a break between um, this bin and the last bin. I'm really excited to get into the last bin because after that I've gone through all of the clothes in my possession and it just allows me to pack, it allows me to declutter more, um, and allows me to really start having an idea of what pieces I want for this capsule wardrobe. So from there, you know, I'll be packing away the things that are instant no's and then working towards, you know, really narrowing down. I'm, I'm probably going to put two to four like tote bags full of clothing that I'll be bringing um, where it's not going to be storage. It'll be clothes that I will keep aside to kind of go through. And I think that I'll start making a list of, you know, approximately what I want from each, each piece, like dresses, pants, shorts, bathing suits, that kind of thing. Um, I expect this one to probably have a bathing suit or two. Um, from what I remember, I, I at one point I had six or seven. I know I decluttered them, but I do definitely think that there was one or two that I still have in my possession. So anyways, I am going to wrap up here and yeah, bye.